the longest house and the shortest street in the world, the largest park in Europe and the deepest metro station in the world, city museums with unique facilities and city patriots, the oldest European fish market and the second tallest statue in the world, the city of Sakura and the longest lime avenue in all of Europe, city's fortresses and city museums, the geographic center of Europe, interesting facts, amazing names and original features. And all these amazing sites situated not somewhere abroad, but in different Ukrainian cities and towns. We're going to the north of Ukraine to the city of Chernihiv, only two hours from Kyiv by car, and you are already walking in this ancient city. A few days will be enough to fill the atmosphere of the city and see the landmarks that are striking in their antiquity and architecture. Therefore, let us go have a good time and over the weekend and enjoy these historic sites in the city of Chernihiv. The city of Chernihiv is the administrative, economic, cultural and educational center of the Chernihiv Oblast. It is located around 142 kilometers north of Kyiv. Today the population of this ancient city is approximately 300,000. We very quickly traveled necessary distance to the city and immediately saw that we had arrived in Chernihiv. Welcome to Chernihiv! So Chernihiv is an ancient and mysterious Ukrainian city of temples and legends. Is this really the first time you have come to Chernihiv? Then I congratulate you. This is the heart of the development of history of Kyiv and Rus. Therefore, let us start this episode with the history of the origin of this ancient city. Regarding the origin of the city of Chernihiv, there is an interesting legend. It is said that the city received its name from its first ruler, Prince Chernihiv. He ruled on this territory in those days when Chernihiv was the capital of the northern Slavic tribes who lived on these lands. As a consequence, the inhabitants of the surrounding cities always said, we go to Prince Chorny. Later, after the prince's death, it turned out that the name was preserved and the city continued to be called the city of black, Chorny or Chernihiv. Now let's get acquainted with the city. Here on the hill you can see a majestic stone church. It is an ancient symbol of Chernihiv, the Church of Holy Ekaterina, or the Holy Eternity in the style of Ukrainian Baroque. It's impossible to miss it, so it is worth paying a visit to this shrine, which is functional and is always open to the public. Today we're in the Church of the Holy Great Martyr Ekaterina, located in the city of Chernihiv. It is an ancient temple with its own specific history. It was specially built as a monument to the victory of the Cossacks and with the money donated by the famous colonel of Chernihiv named Liza Huf. The temple is already 300 years old, but the stronghold has survived, and the walls of the structure are impressively thick. The temple was also built as a defensive structure. The thinnest wall in this temple is 1 meter and 40 centimeters, while the rest of the walls are in thicker. Allegedly, there were cannons in it, though on the second floor. Perhaps at one time there were cannons, but today it is a temple that houses unique icons and relics of the monk named Mercury. In addition, the iconostasis that was made by contemporary masters is magnificent. I want to invite all people that have the chance and the desire to visit Chernihiv. The fact is that in the city of Chernihiv there are more sites of the pre-Mongolian era than in Kyiv. Chernihiv is such a holy city. It is also a laid-back city that is blessed with a very charming atmosphere for visitors. Very close to the temple, only 100 meters, and we will find ourselves in a very unusual park where you can enjoy the view of several historical buildings. Therefore, now we will walk towards this park in order to feel the charm that these wonders of architecture give. We're in the heart of the ancient place from which, in fact, the city of Chernihiv was founded. It is said that Chernihiv dates back to the 4th century AD, 
although, in fact, in written sources Geneva was mentioned in the 7th century. So this is the enigma in which we found ourselves today. This is an incredible architectural piece of work. This is the highlight of the city of Chernihiv. It looks as though several generations of architectural styles were combined in one style. Though despite this fact, this ensemble is incredible and we can be very proud of it. As you can see, here it is quite crowded and cool weather does not stop anyone wanting to look at these historical sites. Therefore, we find out what kind of majestic temple is in front of us. Here you can see the Spassky Cathedral or the Spasso-Prebrozhensky Cathedral behind me. It dates back to the 11th century. Today it is not even a museum complex, rather a fully functional church. Indeed, the Spassky Cathedral is one of the sightseeing places which has been preserved. Even though it was burned down, after that it was restored and it exists to this day. When Prince Mstislav decided to show Kyiv that the chernihiv seversky principality was stronger, he built this cathedral on the site of the old Spassky church. The cathedral is a unique example of ancient Rus' architecture. It is a very majestic piece of architecture, and the gilding of its domes is incredibly charming. It is said that Prince Mstislav was not able to finish its construction. In fact, today the brickwork of the foundation of the Spassky Cathedral remains to this day. At the same time, there are two versions that different masters worked on this structure. The first part of the temple was made by masters from the Caucasus, who were hired by Prince Mstislav. However, the upper level of the cathedral was completed by masters from Byzantium. The bond that was deliberately preserved because it contained samples of the ancient brick. In fact, this is a very unique brick that was made only in the Chernihiv oblast. By the way, this functioning temple is one of the oldest Christian churches in Ukraine. Here is buried Ihor Svetoslavovich, about whom the lay of Ihor's warfare was written. And very nearby there is another cathedral. It is somewhat smaller, but it is quite evident that this structure is also quite ancient. Chernihiv is a historical city. There are a lot of monuments that are here. Just a wonderful city as for me. I studied them all, but most of all, I liked Borisoglebsky Cathedral, in fact. To feel in the place where the princess used to be is quite a wonderful feeling and a little mixed, probably. I was shocked by the royal gates, which were here from the very beginning. Therefore, the Cathedral of Boris and Hlib is a monument of architecture of the pre-Mongolian period, the tomb of princes of the clan of Davidovich. It was built in the 12th century by the Chernihiv prince David Svetoslavovich, the grandson of Yaroslav the Wise, dedicated to two of Yaroslav's brothers, Boris and Hlib, the first saints of the ancient Rus. I wonder how this interior of this cathedral was preserved and still want to see the glorious royal gates. There is a very interesting legend about the history of the royal gates. At the start of the 18th century, the Chernihiv Collegium apparently found a silver idol when the construction of the Tower Bell first began. Probably it was used as the main material to build the royal gates of the Borisoglebsky Cathedral. It is known that Hetman Ivan Mazepa made an order to a German jeweler named Drentvet for the iconostasis of these royal gates. This is evident on the microscopic stigma of the master on this unique piece of art together with the coat of arms of Mazepa. Their composition is characteristic for the composition of Ukrainian royal gates. They are authentic and they have been preserved in their original form to the present day. Now it is not just a temple, but here there is a museum with unique exhibits. And only in this cathedral, in the dome square, an old floor was reconstructed and encrusted with a multi-colored smalt. Chernihiv is extremely rich in works of art, from both the ancient Rus period and even Cossack period. We invite everyone to visit our city and become acquainted with these unique masterpieces of ancient art. Next to the Borisoglebsky Cathedral, there is another amazing structure known as the Chernihiv Collegium. The Chernihiv Collegium is an outstanding construction because it is the first learning institution on the left bank of Ukraine. It was built in 1700 upon the initiative of Ivan Mazepa.
The Collegium was formed on the basis of the image of the Kyiv Mohila Academy and prepared educated staff for the civil service, translators, writers, church figures and doctors. And now, here is the administration of the museum and the exhibition hall, where samples of Ukrainian icon painting are constantly exhibited. Therefore, you can go inside and look at the icons. And we'll go further into the park and see what kind of view opens from the highest part of fall. Chernihiv, this is a city that is very rich in history. Here you can see architectural monuments from ancient times to modern times. But it's better to see it with your own eyes than to hear about it. Therefore, come visit us in Chernihiv. And here are the iron cannons. According to some facts, they were presented to the city by Tsar Peter I in recognition of the courage of the Chernihiv Cossacks during the war against the Swedes. This is a true landmark for local citizens and guests of Chernihiv. Chernihiv is a very cozy and small city, where you can relax not only with friends, but with the entire family. So come visit us, we will be glad to see you. Chernihiv citizens are very hospitable people. They will always proudly show and tell about the history of their native city. In Chernihiv, there is something that cannot be found in any other city in Ukraine. So we invite everyone to the enchanting city of Chernihiv. In Chernihiv, you can visit many churches and museums. I also love Chernihiv for its architecture, for the scent and charm of the beautiful tulips here, and for the wonderful atmosphere of this city. Well, let's get more acquainted with the city. They say that here it is very close to the center of Chernihiv, where we have a chance to see many historical monuments. Here we are passing by the Borisohlebsky church, and from there you can hear songs. Let's take a look at who is singing them. The singing is incredible. The acoustics of the church convey the incredible sound of the choir. We have a unique opportunity to hear this famous Chernihiv band in this church of the 12th century. Today we are really lucky, so we decided to get acquainted with a choir named after Bortnansky. The musical ensemble is developing very dynamically. But I am not a fanatic of such a choir, which sings long studied works. We are always looking for new approaches. When I came here, I decided to make a vocal philharmonic, and one of the stages was the creation of the boys' choir. It is the future generation, and the members of the choir are learning from true professionals how to become a choral singer, how to become a vocalist, how to work in a philharmonic ensemble. For six years, they have been demonstrating their skills on the main stage of our city. We are looking for any possible opportunity to combine choral music with theater. We try to ensure that not only admirers of choral singing attend our philharmonic concerts, but just music lovers that are not afraid to try something new. The Bartnyansky Choir is known not only in Chernihiv, it is also known far beyond the borders of Ukraine. The collective toured with concerts in Western Europe and has many admirers abroad. I would like everyone in Ukraine and its neighboring countries to come and breathe the air of our music in this city. This will allow you to simply walk through the city and get a feel of the old times.
If you see the posters of the choir, then attend this concert, and you will definitely get great pleasure. The evenings in Bright City shining with lights. Here is the Central Square, where there are many restaurants and cafes, where you can have a wonderful cup of coffee. So again, we follow the sounds of music hot and fun. Good evening. We're Yaroslav and Ina, and we would like to invite you to the dance evening. Here you can have great fun and enjoy your evening. All connoisseurs of Latin dances should come to Trenihev and visit such a wonderful evening of dance. With a good mood and positive emotions, we go back to our hotel. We hope that a new day will give us even more interesting impressions and we'll spend the weekend of a lifetime in the beautiful city of Chernihiv. <music> Travel around Ukraine, discover new cities and tell the whole world about them. Let each trip be bright and unforgettable.